Hey guys, Bertis Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a quick look into emissive maps inside of Unreal Engine 4. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, try and explain to you exactly what an emissive map is. So an emissive map is essentially a texture which uh, tells the engine where to emit light from inside of a material. So if you take a quick look at this little um, a missive map that I've got here you can see I've got a little white area that is highlighted and then the black bit is just going to be completely unlit so if I go ahead and take a look at uh, my material uh, sorry, my uh, material. Yeah, my material on this object here. You can see the black bit is completely unlit, and the white bit is lit up, and we can do whatever we want with that. And you can see it glows out light. This is not um, a point light, a spotlight, or any of that stuff. This light is completely emitted from uh, the from the material which is absolutely great and we can play around with that um, if you're going to be working on stuff like futuristic stuff or you're making lights whatever emissive maps can come in handy uh, they're absolutely brilliant so if you go ahead and take a look at this little character model here I've got you can see I've got some really nice uh, illuminated shoulder pieces uh, glove wires uh, chest pieces and you know it's just really good if you're gonna be working with sci-fi environments you're definitely gonna be using some of this anyway so what are we gonna be doing today uh, today we're gonna be uh, pretty much breaking down an emissive map inside of Photoshop the uh, different types of uh, emissive map You've got two that we're going to be working with you're going to have your grayscale version and then your colored version We're going to be importing that into Unreal Engine and then lastly We're going to be playing around with that inside of the material editor and changing things like the color and brightness So let's just go ahead and uh, dive straight into Photoshop now Like I said in the previous episode I do have a download link for a whole bunch of uh, textures that I I made for you um, and that includes an emissive specular normal and diffuse map and we're going to be using this uh, emissive so let's just go ahead and open this up um, you do have the tiger files uh, so you can use those if you don't have Photoshop but the first emissive map we have here is going to be the colored version now this colored version is essentially just going to emit um, light in whatever color you have on here so the black bit that's going to be completely unlit but everything else is going to be lit up so let's go ahead and take a look at the box here you can see it looks like we've got white light but it's got a slight orange tinge to it uh, simply because you have the orange bit in the middle and pretty much whatever you put on here is just going to come straight through to the material and it's going to light up uh, just like that and the second one we have is just the standard grayscale one. Um, pretty much whatever you have in white you, uh, is then going to become light. Um, it won't have color, it's just going to be completely white and then you can play around with the color inside of the material editor. So let me just go ahead and show you that real quick. So at the moment I've got it set to a sort of greeny color. If I wanted to I can change that to pink really really easily. Um, and you don't have to worry about keep reimporting uh, the texture from Photoshop into the engine. So, yeah, it's pretty much what we're going to be doing. So, let's just go ahead and uh, start off by closing the material. And I'm going to create a new folder real quick. So, I'm just going to right click there, new folder, and I'm just going to name this whatever and I'm gonna go ahead and import some of my textures now so most of you should know how to export uh, a texture out from Photoshop uh, it's pretty simple just once you've got the layer all sorted just by itself on the top just go ahead and save as put it on your desktop wherever uh, make sure it's in the right format um, I usually work with Targa or PNG and uh, also make sure it's 2048 by 2048 10 for, uh, 10 20, 24 by 1024 just make sure it's the power of two so I'm just going to go ahead and save this as uh, em uh, emissive and then gray I'm not going to be worrying too much about uh, file name uh, conventions at the moment uh, let's just go and put that on the desktop for now and then I'm going to do the same for the second one I'm going to hide the emissive uh, the grayscale layer open up the emissive uh, the colored one and then just save that out in the same way so I'm going to put this as PNG or whatever I just did and I'm going to use and I'm going to call that emissive just emissive and then color just like that so now let's go ahead and import these so just go ahead and press import once you're in the uh, correct folder go to your desktop and then bring in uh, both of them you can select both of them if you want to so I've got my emissive color here but for some reason 
Uh, there we go. Emissive color and emissive gray. Just open those up and give it a second to import. Now let's go ahead and create a new material. So I'm just going to name this test for now. And then I'm going to open this up and I'm going to just put a, a basic a, a basic normal constant into the base color for now uh, just to give it a little bit of you know something and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the emissive grayscale uh, oh sorry the emissive color I'm gonna drag that in and if we wanted to we could go ahead and hook that straight up to emissive color and we will actually have a bit of light coming out of it if we do take a look at it so you can see it's lit up a little bit but we want to be able to control this we want to be able to set the brightness of this uh, emissive so I'm just gonna quickly drag on the material onto this quick box this box I've got here just so we can see it in action and I'm gonna break the link and this time we're gonna be using something called a multiply node and that's gonna basically allow us to multiply the texture by a constant which in turn essentially gives us our uh, brightness controls so you can see here I've hooked up my RGB into the B and then at the multiply, the end bit just straight into emissive color. And now the last thing we need is a constant. And I'm just gonna hook that up into A, just like this. And now at the moment we have zero brightness, it's just completely black. Um, to turn up the brightness, all we gotta do is just change the value. So just get the value here and change this to something like a five, 10, 15, whatever you want, just go ahead and play around with it pretty much until you get the right brightness that you're looking for. You see, at the moment, it, 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 it's slightly bright, but it's just not bright enough. So I'm gonna change this to a 15. Now, keep in mind, the brightness that you see in the material editor is not gonna be the same as what you have in game, because obviously, you're gonna have light sources from other places affecting uh, how you see it and all of that. But now you can see at 15, it's quite bright. And that's pretty much all there is to the uh, the colored emissive maps. So. Now I'm just going to break the link for that and I'm going to move these aside and we're going to use the the uh, the grayscale ones. I'm going to select these just by clicking and dragging and I'm just going to move these out of the way. We don't need to delete them right now. So let's bring the emissive gray. Just select that in the content browser. Click and drag. And uh, if I go ahead and show you what happens when I hook that straight up into the emissive color. It's just going to be completely white and it's still not going to be very bright. And we're going to be using the multiply node again to set the brightness and the color for this one. Now, keep in mind, we can't really change the color for the one I showed you previously, just the brightness. And that's what the grayscale version is really good for because we can change the color in engine. So let's just go ahead and break the link. Right click, break link, and let's get another one of those multiply nodes. So just hook up uh, the RGB into the B, and then the end of the uh, multiply into the emissive color. And we're gonna be using a constant again, but instead of a normal constant, we're gonna be using a constant free vector. And this allows us to change the value of the uh, red, green, and blue. So at the moment, it's set to zero on everything. There's gonna be no light, just like I showed you uh, when the flat constant was set to zero. So let's go ahead and change the color of this. So there is a few different ways we can do this. We can either click this and use the little color wheel here and we can choose whatever color we want. Uh, let's just go ahead and select a nice little orange. Press OK. And then you should see it come out any second now. Let's go back to orange. Turn up the, uh, the brightness a little bit there and we should be able to see it come out. There we go. Um, but at the moment, it's not very bright. Uh, to increase the brightness, we pretty much need to just change the red, green, and blue value. So at the moment, it's set to about 1 and then about 0.5 to get that orange color. If I wanted to make it brighter, um, let's say I wanted to make it 10 times brighter, I would set the, the red to 10, which is basically me multiplying it by 10, and then the green by 10 as well, which is going to be uh, 5 it was when I went to school anyway and you can see it's nice and bright now um, and we can do the same for pretty much whatever color that we want so I wanted to go for a pink uh, I could do that all in here I would just turn up the blue to whatever it doesn't really matter so let's just go ahead and put that in nice lovely manly color here I'm gonna set the blue to let's just double this this time so I'm gonna round it up to four put that to 8 and then the red is times 2 as well so I'm going to put that to 20 
and boom we've got our lovely manly pink here again um but yeah that's pretty much everything i wanted to show you for emissive materials um they're really really simple and you can do a hell of a lot with them so just play around with them try out the textures that i've got for you in the description uh create some really cool art like this character and uh yeah thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and i will see you in the next episode goodbye